thought he was playing, but he's oh, actually making a phone call. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh. <laughs> This was my, my, my graduate school thesis project in New York University. Called IT, we, we have a program called ITP, it's Interactive Telecommunications Program. And initially what I wanted to do is I want people to be able to play the game in this kind of public space in front of a big screen. Then, so what would be the controller for that? And I go, I, I was thinking, because everyone has phones and phone can be an excellent controller for the gameplay. So that was my initial idea and I didn't want people to download anything or like I don't expect them to have like some sort of like Bluetooth or like some Java application all the time. So I was thinking, cause phone call, everyone make, can make phone call, you know, like everyone can make phone call. So like what if we use those voice input and keypad input to play games? and they'll be excellent. So that was my initial idea to make this game. This isn't so much a game as a technology demonstration. It shows like kind of what we do, right? And so what we do is develop the server software to power all of this and some kind of interaction models on top. And then what we do is we work with people, either game designers or like artists, things like that, to build applications. So this is actually very, very simple. This experience you can see runs for a minute and a half, maybe at the most. Uh, for other experiences, for other events, maybe if you're doing something in a nightclub, if you're doing something in a movie theater before the movie starts, you have a longer amount of time so you can make a longer experience of a game, or you can make a longer experience of an interactive piece of artwork. I generally really like just old school 8 bits style, and I like old school Atari games, or I really like those kind of thing, and I just want to use it. So we're about to put this up on the big screen like in one hour later, so I'm changing the graphics, adjusting the phone numbers to Manchester's phone numbers. Usually for us the problems are either the network or you know, phone numbers, like we just buy phone numbers and our technology runs on the phone system, which is fully antiquated and kind of a pain to deal with. Um, but it's also the beauty of what we do, right? It's interesting to be over here now because the UK phone system is just totally different than the US phone system. Your tone, the sounds your phones make are different, right? So like we have to deal with that. So it's a, uh, it's interesting because you know we've been here for about a day and a half or so testing stuff, and um, can't learn that much in a day and a half, especially if your phones run out of juice at three in the morning. I was like worried that what if they just like man, it's not pulling it. Would they just pull it totally playing game for like? Like 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Sorry. Oh my god, this is so awesome.